So this is an attempt to uh, induce a brood break and use the drone brood to exclusively catch the mites because there is no other worker brood available. So how I've attempted to achieve that, in the bottom of this hive, below the excluder, is the queen, the bees of six to seven frames of brood. No brood except for one uncapped, one uncapped frame of drone brood. Then above that is an empty medium to catch the honey. The bees are, haven't worked out yet that the hole is down there and not there. Above it is a board just to separate the rest of the hive. What's in the rest of the hive is about eight frames of, eight frames of worker brood and some stores. The entrance to this has been turned around and the entrance is now on the back, down here. So um, what can happen is you have two choices. You can either just allow this portion to raise its own queen and then recombine them for the honey flow. Or, as an alternative, you can take some of this Man Lake pheromone that they get from somebody in, in Canada. As you can see, this patch of bees like it. And this is supposed to let them believe that they're queen right. And in that case, if they believe they're queen right, they shouldn't build new queen cells. So I will see what happens. I'm going to dangle this down between the frames. And then, after about another week, I will take out this frame of drone brood and put in a, a frame of eggs and larva drones only. There will be no queen in here to lay any more eggs and all the workers that emerge, the mites from those, should go on top and enter into the, into the new drones. Meanwhile, down at the bottom, the queen down here, she will start laying probably today. When she's doing that, there's going to be another week before the, before the um, larvae are ready for the mites and so in the meantime all the mites that are actually phoretic and hanging on the outside of the bees should transfer themselves into that drone brood and then that can be cut out. So we'll see what happens.